In today's video, we are working on a 2016 Jeep Renegade that has an overheating issue. According to the customer, the car would overheat when idling at a stop or when the AC was on. These two are the symptoms of a bad radiator fan because it's supposed to pull air across the radiator when the car is at a stop or when the air conditioning is on. And the first thing I want to bring to your attention is 9 times out of 10 cars overheat because of low coolant level but the coolant is full so it is yet another reason to check the fan. It can be wobbly and probably was noisy when it came on. It can also be hard to turn. These are the signs that it is failing and should be replaced. If it doesn't come on when the engine runs hot or when you turn on the AC, check your fuses. If the radiator fan fuse is blown, replace the radiator fan. Don't try to just replace the fuse, it will blow again. Now replacing the radiator fan on this car is a fairly simple job. It just takes a couple of tools and some patience. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this engine cover. There should be a bolt right here that this car is missing for some reason. So I can't tell you what size it is, probably 10 millimeter. And then we just pop the cover off. Next, we're going to remove this heat shield on the exhaust manifold. Three nuts at the top and two bolts at the bottom. Then let's remove the oxygen sensor. I didn't even unplug it, I just twisted the wire until the sensor came out and moved it out of the way. And the heat shield is out. Next, let's move this expansion reservoir out of the way. There are just two hooks that need to be pried off. Slide the whole assembly to the side and it should come right out. There is also this piece at the bottom that snaps into this opening. Let's place it out of the way. Next, disconnect this connector. Undo the retaining clips on the harness. There is one more connector right there at the bottom. Disconnect it too. First you need to pull this yellow tab back and then you'll be able to disconnect it. And move the harness out of the way. Now we also need to unclip this retainer to free up these two lines and move them out of the way enough to clear the fan assembly out of there. Next, on each side there is a tab that needs to be pushed in and the fan assembly should be free to go. And now we can pull the fan assembly out of there. Just take your time, carefully working it out of there, moving hoses and lines out of the way. Once the fan is out, make sure nothing is left broken or torn before you install a new one. Whenever you install new parts, always compare the two and transfer any missing parts from the old fan to the new one. Looks like the new fan assembly didn't come with a retainer right here, so I'm going to switch it over from the old one. And in the same manner, slowly and carefully work the new fan assembly into place. Hook all the clips, retainers, and connectors. Put the expansion reservoir back in place. Install the heat shield and the engine cover. Put some anti-seize on the threads of the O2 sensor. Tighten it up. 
Don't forget to install a new fuse if the old one is blown and check the fan operation. I have a scanner to activate fan relays. Here is speed one. I'm going to turn it off. And here is speed two. Without a scanner, you can turn the AC on for speed one. And wait for the engine to fully warm up to engage speed two. As you can see, simple job. Don't even have to drain and refill any fluids. Just need a 10 millimeter wrench, small screwdriver, and an oxygen sensor socket. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your experience and give feedback in the comments section below. Links to the products you saw in this video will be in the description. Thank you for watching, good luck and take care.